Man, oh man, we are going to be getting into it today. What's up, guys, and welcome to Erica. This is going to be an insane game. It was just surprise released yesterday during Gamescom, and uh, it's an interactive murder mystery. So think about something like Heavy Rain or Detroit Become Human, except instead of being like mainly gameplay, there are a few sections where it's CGI. It's mostly filmed, like with real cameras and with real actors. So depending on what you choose, you get different clips and stuff. Kind of like Late Shift, if you guys remember when we played that a few months ago here on the channel. So uh, it's going to be intense. It looks really, really good and really, really terrifying. We're just going to hop into it and um, here we go. This is an interactive story. Your choices form one of many perspectives. No single path holds all of the answers. Got a lighter here. Dude. Gonna light this bad boy? This is all played using the touchpad, which is kind of interesting. So you can drag around to explore. What is that? Play some music? She was a nurse, I was a doctor. At night, we'd tell each other stories. She'd tell me about the future. Wonderful things. Things only she could see. I'd tell her about the past, about a great priestess marked with a butterfly who could stare into the fire and see the future. I used to tell her she was magic, just like the priestess. I think you're magic too, but you're gonna have to prove it. Pick your photograph, pick your favor. I like love, true love. Happiness. Oh, that's cool. Now, close your eyes. Focus your mind. And conjure the power of the ancient priestess. Now find your home again. See if you can guess where your favorite is. Man, I'm going right. Hoo hoo, you boy. See, magic. She'll always be with you. Remember that. Even though she isn't here, she's still a part of you. What was that? A birthmark? If you could stare into the fire and see the future. What do you think you'd see? <laughs> Bro, what is happening?
So we're much older now. Let go, face it, reassure, justify. It was all your fault. I'm gonna secure that stuff. Are you kidding me right now? Are you okay? Still have our favorite picture. This girl's messed up in the head, isn't she? I mean, I, I feel bad. Lost both of her parents at a young age. She's drawn the symbol that was carved into her dad's chest. I don't know if I trust this. What the fuck? <gasps> Miss Mason, I'm Sergeant Blake, the lead investigator on this case. I see that? I promise I'll give it back. I would... I would rip it out. You don't get to get my whole journal. Just... just the one. You draw this a lot. It's Greek, isn't it? The Delphic Epsilon. Same as with your father. I'll cooperate for now. It was on the medallion, too. The hand belonged to a Cal Jahar. You worked at Delphi House? I believe you visited there with your father. What does this have to do with me? Your father's case was never solved. He found a Delphi house with a man called Lucian Flowers. We think he might be a target too. Look, we're keeping watch over a Delphi house. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. Dude, what the fudge, man? You, you try to get me to go to the place that's being targeted? Whew. 
This doesn't look creepy or haunted at all. Dude, I'm, my like hairs are standing on end. aren't quite the same. No way I'd be stepping foot back in here, dude. There's no chance. We're probably out for a smoke. Wait here, I'll go check. Looks like we've got a photo of Dad on the wall. Dad and his friends. Delphi House founders and staff. Kinds of photos on each side. What the f <laughs> Don't answer it. Nah, fam, I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm going. I'm gone. Are you kidding me right now? We have to choose if we want to go down the hallway or go answer the phone? What do you guys think? I think we got to go see what those girls were doing. What? what? <laughs> this is a bad idea. Dude, I see, I see shadows moving around in here. <laughs> Lucian says this is a bad time for you to come and see her. We're in a important stage of her treatment. It's just not right. I don't care what he says. I want to see her. He give me his work. You need to calm down. You're tired, emotional. What are you doing? No note. No record of her anywhere. He's got the symbol. Right. Well, that was a waste of time. I see you found someone. I guess I should have just stayed put. Um. I feel like this is more relevant to what's going on. He's a creep. It's late. We're a headache. He's got every reason to be on edge. Tell him about the symbol. Who are you? I'm Sergeant Blake. I'm leading the investigation. I'm supposed to meet a Dr. Ballard. I can only apologize. We're all a bit nervous here. Sergeant Blake, I'm Rosa Ballard. I suppose you already know Chief Inspector. Sir, this is Erica Mason. I'm sorry we're meeting in such difficult circumstances. Is there anything we can do to make you feel at home? It's okay. I'm sorry too. Come on. I'll show you the way. I feel like we can't trust any of these people, dude. I suppose you don't remember me. I worked with your father. I used to look after you when you were little. I remember you'd run around the basement looking for ghosts. You knew my parents? Of course. Your dad taught me everything I know. And your mum, she was incredible. 
brilliant nurse. So smart. It's funny. Anyway, this is you. You might recognise it. Mr Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. This is your dad's old office? Some old records to be able to play? I mean... Hopefully it doesn't awaken any spirits or anything. I guess we'll find out. Relaxing. <laughs> Erica, bro, whoa, no. Oh, we made that. Okay, I was going to say. No, not a doll, dude. Not a doll. Please don't. Please don't. Oh my god, no it's not. No it's not. <laughs> Get it away. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Look at her on. Just like you. My anxiety is at an all-time high, dude. What the? F Through the night.
Jesus Christ! What the f fuck? <sighs> Regain travel. No, 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 no! Not the carpet. He's clean. I'm gonna go around the edge. Kirsty? Kirsty, I said you can help, but I need to be with you, okay? We talked about this. No cleaning without supervision. Can I bum a smoke off you? Can I have one? No. <laughs> hey, Deathwish. Over here. Don't mind her, she's got emotional problems. Hurry up and die, Hannah. I'm doing my best. What are you playing? This. Aria Fidelphi by, um... Some guy. I don't know. I've never heard of him. Here, take a seat. Let me show you something. Do you see this bit? It's simple. Four notes. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Nice. It's kind of a beautiful moment. There is some weird Man. cult stuff going- I don't trust this place, not one bit. This is messed up, dude. My god. Erica Mason. You look just like your mother. Last time we met, you could barely see over the desk. I'm Lucien Flowers. I set this place up with your father. It was a long time ago. I, I don't really remember. I, I don't blame you. I can barely remember yesterday. Did you sleep okay? I know the old place can take a bit of getting used to. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know that we could trust him yet, so it, I'm fine. we're going to play Thank it, you play it cool. Stay. Your father was very dear to me. It's my pleasure. I hope you don't mind, but I brought you something. It 
was your father's. Your mother gave it to him on their wedding day. The Zippo from the intro. I just kept hold of it. Hey. Sorry about that. I was just getting an update from forensics. Erica, it's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Johar. There may be some other victims as well that we don't know about. Is there anything I can do to help? Honestly, we don't have much to go on. But Mr. Flowers has a suggestion. It might help you remember the face of your father's killer. Gun, but that's it. It's like therapy. It was developed by your father, and it might be able to help you with your nightmares. It's completely painless. Perfectly safe. I don't know about this. <laughs> Erica, please. There are too many similarities with your father's case for it to be a coincidence. If we can get a description, we can put an end to this. I mean, you aren't telling me what kind of therapy this is, but I guess okay. I'm down. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it. The images you're going to see are designed to relax you and open up your mind. Your father designed regression therapy to help our patients face their trauma. The first one is just a test. When you see it, just say whatever comes into your head. Peace. Peace. Okay, great. If you remember anything important, just write it down. I know revisiting trauma can be difficult, but you're perfectly safe. Let's begin. Beauty. Beauty. Looks a little culty. Cult. Fun. I can already tell there's gonna be something bad that that pops up. Anger. Kill. Time. 
Did I draw myself? Or is that- that's my mom. I drew my mom. Why did you draw her, Erica? Why did you draw your mother? Your mother told me this place was her whole life. She worked here, fell in love here, had you here. Later, she died here. Dr. Ballard suggested that I show you this. Putting yourself through that was incredibly brave. It's not surprising that you saw your mother. It's a process, Erica. It takes time. You can't blame yourself. I know. I just feel so... so useless. I know it's frustrating. Maybe when you've had a chance to rest, you can try again. Come on. There's something I want to show you. We'll need these. Gonna go pick some flowers? Lodi Mason, wife, mother, and dearest friend of the Delphi house. Your father had the oleander planted in your mother's memory. They were her favorite. They've always brought his luck. Sorry. Sometimes the girls have difficult days. But some of us like to keep it buried deep down inside. Anna, I didn't think you'd be up. This is Erica Mason. She'll be staying with us for a while. Didn't I bleed all over you this morning? <laughs> I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. Do you want to come? Uh, Fuck off! What is wrong with you? Well, you could always go hang out with Toby. Actually, they're about to serve lunch. It's quite a spread. Why don't you go and grab yourself a bite and maybe meet some of the other girls? Sure. Who doesn't love a good old soggy sandwich in the company of strangers? You know, I feel like Toby is the most real out of all of them. I know she's crazy, but I feel like that's maybe for good reason. Should check on Toby. No worries. I guess I'll catch you around. Erica, it's very good of you to go to her. Just remember that some of the girls here, they can be quite manipulative. Just be careful, that's all. I feel like everyone in this place has been manipulative so far. I don't know, dude. What are you doing? Why are you following me? Hmm? Held off on defying. It's lunchtime. Go on it with the good girls. I I'm not hungry. You're a tourist. This place has secrets. You need to be careful or you're going to get hurt. I just thought you needed a friend. Fuck off. I'll eat your lunch. No, not the cake. They're watching. Have the fruit. They like it when you have the fruit. 
What do you mean, they're watching? They're always watching. They want to know if we can see what they're hiding. Aren't you hungry? We have to eat. If you don't eat, you'll waste away. And we have work to do. You missed a spot. Here. These restraints? These restraints? We all need to be kept safe. Sometimes from each other. Sometimes from ourselves. Jam the door. I always thought this girl was crazy, but she, she might, um, she might be with it. They can't hear us in here, but they'll come. They always do. Who? Who's coming? They're all part of it. If you saw the flowers, you'd know. Be good or they'll hurt him. Oh. You know you're not supposed to have the door closed. It's okay. The mop fell, but I fixed it. Erica was helping. Look under the pillow. What is she doing? A deer? A fox? A rabbit? A butterfly? What are we looking for? Those are all the things they showed us in the slideshow. I like the rabbits best. They're my favorite. Maybe not the rabbit, but the other ones. Hello? Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. It's from Doc Ballard. Little housewarming present. Perfume. Thank you. No worries. It's nice to have a new face around. All done. You just turn the dial and you're good to go. Now, do we trust it? Turn on or bin it? Oh, dude, YOLO. <laughs> I'm turning it on. <laughs> we probably should have binned it, but. Maybe it'll make us feel better. Smell good, smell like home. Like happiness. Smells like our mother's grave. That's a good thing, right? So these are the three masks of the masked people. Bunny, rabbit, and fox. Or, or rabbit, deer, and fox. And 
there's the symbol. Are we the butterfly? Are we like the leader of this cult? Jeez, finally. Get up. You've got mail and it looks expensive. What are you doing? Erica got a present. It's a big one. It's so pretty. Oh no. It's a head. Open it. It's a head. This is hideous. Be careful. Does it have the mark on its arm? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Hannah! Hannah! from his forearm? <laughs> what the 